the box office for the Eid film releases, there has been substantial confusion. Two films, the Ajay Devgan starter Maida and the Akshay Kumar Tiger Shroff Bade Miya Chote Miya clash. And there's nobody has an idea of which film is releasing when. Interestingly, somebody needs to have a more serious look at uh, multiplexes opening up, booking, what is happening. Are they monarchs? Do we need to take a look at their methodology of selling tickets? These are all different subjects. Talk about it sometime and somewhere else. To start with, my present review is going to be about uh, Amit Ravindranath's Maidan. Amit Ravindranath, may I please tell you, next time you're making a movie, nobody wants to see a gone with the wind these days. 181 minutes, three hours in counting. Please have a heart. Buckets full of pop can't get over by the time the movie gets done. And all this with a linear tail of a man suffering. And this is not the goat life either. Come back. The film is uh, an ode to Syed Abdul Rahim from Hyderabad, a football coach who saw India grow in global stature in playing football from the pit till it won the Asian gold. How the came, game came back in the Indian context to where it is today is best as cute and is certainly not part of Amit Ravindranath's uh, film. Problem with biopics on sports persons in our country is that they are structurally extremely predictable. They take a guy from out of nowhere. He's the central character who's the winner, the loser, etc. So his trials, his turbulations, his agony, his ecstasy is all portrayed. Principally, his fight with the system takes a good part of the struggle and how it all ends in euphoria, in success, is the structure. A mild variation is what you have in Maga. Here, he's not the player, he's the coach. The coach who saw India in the pre-world times and in the early years playing football with no footwear. He fights with the system to ensure dignity, to ensure proper resources for football players. How does he do it? He first has to win the warfare at the boardroom, the nuanced politics eternally between uh, those who love the game and those who love the politics of the game. So you have Shubhankar, played by Rudranil Ghosh, who's backed up by a power uh, strong Roy of sports correspondent, media magnet, Gajiraj Rao, and the rest of the yesayers and the no -sayers. Rahim's life is a linear process. From nowhere, the steady uh, brooding Rahim, Ajay Devgan, chosen very appropriately, moves on scouting for genuine talent. Where does he find it? Not one in the regular team. From Amukuda in Sikandrabad, he moves around Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata and finds his own uh, team of players who have not played football. Gets them around, trains them. Obviously they are not world standards, so they continue to lose the Olympics. This is not taken lightly by the board. And therefore he sat. But just around the time he sat, he also develops lung cancer. 
so he's got to fight the system. He's got this unsatiated urge to see Indian football at its rightful place. And of course, he's got to fight the number of kids. His wife, played by Priyamani, is a support system of a different kind. When he is almost defeated and lost, she tells him that this house is not meant for you to brood in. Invite a welcome day. Go out and fight. So he goes back to the Football Federation of India, asks for his lawful chance to just once again train the Indian football team, which goes to the Indonesian uh, Asia and wins the gold medal. This in the midst of an Indian bureaucrat at Jakarta speaking ill of the Indonesian government leading to a lot of uh, bad press and bad uh, reactions from the people in Indonesia towards the Indian team. Finally, the route to the Indian final from being uh, beaten by Korea and then they beating Thailand, Japan, Vietnam and then the famous finals in Korea add to the dramatics of a football finale and like so predictable that a football finale is going to get you some claps, is going to get you some good views that is poor consolation for three hours and more. What keeps the film going is like Lagan. Most of the characters in the film, are, at least at this point in time, are unknown faces. So you have minimal expectations from the actors. The most uh, viewable, identifiable face would be Gajaraj Rao, who's done a good job. Such a change in his performance from Badai. He has the right uh, balance of playing the world. And then, of course, in the central character, it's Ajay Gagan, who gives the film just that right dose of intensity that, that uh, near impossibility to smile sticks well on his shoulders. And the sincerity, that hunger, is well set in a person who's well structured even physically to carry on the work. And so this is yet again a sincere, worth watching performance from Ajay Devgan. To many of us, the nuances of sports politics is often restricted to cricket. You get a peek of it in uh, this film so far as uh, football is. There's the Kolkata versus South story going on. Remember the days when uh, it was Mumbai versus non-Mumbai girls when we played Ranji Trophy once upon a time. They used to talk about the Mumbai lobby versus the non-Mumbai lobby. And you're seeing it today with uh, Hardik Pandya and the Mumbai crowds. So it's not new. Uh, how sports management controls is also known how big time players in cricket played with careers of Ganguly and the rest. Not that Ganguly was any the hesitant when he meted out similar treatment to somebody else, but that's besides the point. It's interesting that this is not only with cricket where the mullahs are high, but it also happened with football decades ago. That's it, Maidan, now for three hours, if you have that kind of time to spend, Almost one full uh, IPL match. You want to call it? Watch it. If you're a genuine sports lover, particularly football lover, then you may really like the movie. Otherwise, it does drag quite often. But for sheer presence of good acting, Ajay Devgan convinces you of the sincerity that makes an actor. I acknowledge it again, Abhinav and Dhatu, 
And again, request all of you to please come in with your comments on how you like the film, how you like the review, and your critical inputs on either of them. Thank you so much. Goodbye.